Hello. Um, I just wanted to show people in the group how Eastern Europeans do pine needle basketry not using raffia or the waxed thread. Uh, we just use the pine needles themselves. And um, normally you would have these damp. I just collected them this morning to do this quick thing to show you um, as it rained last night. So I already started the circle and I can't show you that part because I don't have anybody to hold my camera um, and you definitely need two hands to do that. Um, maybe at some point I will do another video that shows, you, shows the beginning part of um, the wrapping of the, the circle. Um, I leave the tags on for this one and it's just because I want a rough looking basket, sort of roughish looking and they should be a little damp. Hopefully they can, they'll work out okay. So basically I use a skewer and I make a hole where I want this to go. I split it open. One side goes in there. your thumb on it to keep it in place. You're going to take this top one, the bottom one, and you're going to go back through that hole if you can. And if you can't, just poke another little hole in there. It's a little tricky because these are so small, these needles. See that? I kind of pull somewhat tight. Not too tight. And the one that's on top, you want to come around and over that and go through that hole, that one that you just did. And you want to tighten it. a little tricky for me. Oh shoot, it just broke. Okay, that's gonna happen sometimes where they break. And you just get yourself another one. And these are breaking because they are so small. And I'm asking a lot of these little things. So it's gonna come up. So let me just do that. Just pull tight and do that. And then we go to the next one. Hope you can see this okay. I'm probably going to have to make a hole. I'll just make a hole somewhere.
You can be a little rough with this. Let me stick a little hard when you're doing the camera. Um, you're going to stick that through your hole that you just made. And you're going to hold that one in place. And I'm going to bring that one up. And through the same hole. Or whatever hole you can. You're going to go, that's the one that was the top one. You're going to go under it and kind of catch it. And go, let's loosen that a little bit. And then over and under that one you just did. And just pull that tight as you can. It's a little messy. See, these can be worked um, fairly tightly, and then you put that down, you get kind of like a, I don't know, like a bump. I don't know if you can see that. And you get like these nice little spokes around it. And you just continue on like that, um, making your holes. until you get to the size that you want. You can use something like um, something else. If you don't have this, you can use anything pokey to, um, to do the skewer, to do the hole. And you just stick that in the hole. I know that's really hard to see. Just hold on to that one. Take the bottom one. Go in that same hole. Or any hole that you can get in. See, it comes up through the back. There. Try to get any little ones over. There we go. And I did that on the wrong side. Oops. Okay. And that's going to go under there. And you just kind of really pull it tight. Not too tight, but you want all these to sit in there nicely. And so pull that tight. And that goes down. Now you've got another little spoke. It's a little bit loose here. There we go. And you've got there. Another one there. And as you go around, you can kind of push it into shape it into a circle while it's damp and just keep it nice and round and that's how you do that part and maybe I'll show a video more later on when I get some more of this done and um, can show you the finished basket